Hi guys and welcome. Today in this video we're gonna talk about antivirus systems. And definitely that's a very important issue because you probably want to keep your data safe and your system safe. How to choose the correct antivirus system? That's a big question. We spend a lot of time, money and efforts to analyze all the players on the market. And today we have a great solution and we want to share it with you. So jump into this review to find out everything you need to know about the great service that called Avira. Hello everyone and welcome to our review. When choosing an antivirus, you need to be very careful. Luckily, you have our review. Today I will tell you about a very reliable and useful service, which is very pleasant and reliable to use. Let's begin. The free Avira antivirus gets excellent ratings from the independent labs, but it doesn't fare as well in our anti-phishing test, and its browser protection only works with Chrome and Firefox. Everybody needs antivirus protection, even people on a limited budget. Founded in 1986, Avira protects hundreds of millions of users worldwide with its free Avira antivirus. This product gets excellent scores from the independent labs, and it brings along a collection of related Avira products. It successfully blocked access to malware hosting URLs in our testing, but fell down in our phishing protection test. The application's main window has a white and gray background, but a black and white menu at left and a status banner across the top. A big button to launch a quick scan dominates the center of the window. Four big buttons reflect the status of real-time protection, ransomware protection, web protection, and mail protection. All but the first are pro-only features. If you decide to go for pro, the least price is $59.88 though it seems to be perpetually discounted to $44.99. Clicking modules from the menu reveals a list that includes the four components that have status buttons, plus Protection Cloud Plus, a feature that prioritizes analysis of unknown files for pro users, and Firewall. In truth, Avira doesn't offer a personal firewall, it just includes settings to help manage Windows Firewall. Many security products flip through a series of informational slides during installation extolling the virtues of the product itself or advertising companion products. Avira takes the concept as a step further. Each of its informational pages both describes a companion product and offers to install that product. Even if you don't install other products at this time, the Avira Connect Launcher lets you install or run any of the companion products at will. I'll report on the post of companion products after covering the core antivirus features. Scan Choices Checking the scan menu item gives you the expected choices of full, quick and custom scans. A full scan on my standard clean test system took 90 minutes. Not quite twice the current average of 49 minutes, but much better than the last time I tested this product. Sophos Home Free ran a little quicker than the average, and Kaspersky Free completed its scan in 36 minutes. The scan window retains the antique appearance and oddball window caption Luke Filewalker, which makes it seem seriously dated. With most products, a custom scan simply scans the folders you select. Avira offers a dizzying array of choices, among them scanning active processes, removable drives and the documents folder. Of course, you can still choose to scan any folder you wish. By default, Avira schedules a weekly quick scan. You can schedule other scans of various types on a daily or weekly basis. Very good lab results. In most cases, antivirus companies must pay to be included in testing by the independent labs. A few of the labs actively help them achieve certification. If the product fails, the vendor gets a punch list of things that need fixing. ICSA Labs and West Coast Labs offer these types of certification, but Avira doesn't participate with either. More interesting to me are the tests that put a group of products through the exact same evaluation and report how well they did. I follow four such labs, and Avira participates with all of them. When the experts at AV Comparatives determine that a product does everything it should, they certify it at the standard level. A product that goes beyond the minimum can earn advanced certification or even advanced plus. Avira participates in all four of the tests that I follow from this lab. It took advanced plus in two, advanced in the other two. 
lab test results chart. To cover all facets of antivirus functionality, AV Test Institute rates products on how well they protect against malware, how little they interfere with performance, and how carefully they avoid flagging valid programs or websites as malware, with six possible points in each area. Avira earned a perfect 18 points in this test, along with Kaspersky and McAfee. The techs at SC Labs search the web for real-world malicious websites and user capture and replace system to hit multiple antivirus utilities with the exact same attack. Products can earn certification at five levels – AAA, AA, A, B or C. Along with Bitfinder, Antivirus Plus, Sophos and several others, Avira took the top score – AAA certification. Scoring of tests from MRG Effitus is a bit different from the rest. If products don't achieve near-perfect protection, they simply fail. And fail is just what Avira did in this lab's banking Trojan test, along with more than half of the other tested products. These labs are the main test evaluates protection against a spectrum of malware types, offering level 1. Offering level 1 certification to products that completely prevent all the attacks, and level 2 to those that remediate the effects of an attack within 24 hours. Along with Bitfinder, F-Secure and Kaspersky Free, Avira managed level 1 certification. I use an algorithm to map all the scores onto a 10-point scale and come up with an aggregate result. Tested by all four labs, Avira scored 9.4 of 10 possible points, which is quite good. A vast free antivirus also managed 9.4. At the top, Bitfinder's aggregate score was 9.9, .9, and Kaspersky took perfect scores in all the latest tests, resulting in a perfect 10 points. Hands-on malware protection testing. Those impressive lab test scores mean that Avira can resist against malware attack. Even so, I still run my hands-on malware protection tests to get a feel for how the product does its job. When I last evaluated Avira, it made quite a fuss during my first test, which simply involves opening a folder containing malware samples that I've analyzed by hand. It popped up warnings about having detected one or three or fifteen samples and cluttered the desktop with small floating windows labeled Luke FileWalker and other caption system is being scanned. It even wanted to reboot, even though all it had seen was static samples, no malware execution. This time around, the process was much calmer. It did pop up a couple of those small floating windows, but they finished and vanished quickly. It didn't request a reboot, and it eliminated 83% of the samples at this stage, just by looking at them. As a further test of this simple on-access scanning, I use a second set of samples created by modifying each of the originals. Specifically, I change the file name apt zeros to change the length of the file and tweak a few non-executable bytes. Avira detected all but one of the same samples from this hand-modified set, suggesting that each signature-based malware detection isn't too rigid. To complete the test, I launched each sample that survived the initial massacre. Avira detected some, but not all of those. The threads it detected still managed to plant some executable files on the test system. Overall, it scored 89% detection and 8.6 out of 10 possible points. Tested with the same samples – Silence, F-Secure, Antivirus, $39.99 at F-Secure, and McAfee managed 93% protection and 9.3 points. Weak phishing detection. The same browser safety extension that fields off malicious URLs also serves to keep users from being fooled by phishing sites, fraud sites that try to steal login credentials by posing as, say, PayPal or bank website. These URLs don't last long because they quickly get blacklisted. As soon as the fraudsters have combed a few saps, they close up shop and reopen with a different URL. A program with a pose. As I mentioned, when you install Avira Antivirus, you can choose to also install a large collection of ancillary tools. You might as well install all those that are truly free. The Avira Connect app manages all your other Avira products and serves as a launchpad to start any of them. Avira Connect also lets you review all the devices that you've associated with your Avira account online. Clicking the Manage Device button opens the Avira dashboard online. Here you can see each device, with icons showing all the installed 
all the Vera tools. You can also dig into view system details or details for each installed product. And you can even trigger an email with instructions on how to install missing products. A Vera Phantom VPN is a full-featured virtual private network with servers in 20 countries around the world. The list of countries is way towards North America and Europe, though it does include China and Singapore. Using it as a snap, just select the country you want and click the big screen Secure My Connection button. This is a free installation of Phantom VPN, which means it lacks some advanced features, doesn't offer tax support, and caps your bandwidth at 500 megabytes per month. Exploit attacks take advantage of unpatched security vulnerabilities. A Vera software updater scans your system and lists any software with missing security patches. Clicking Download All gets all the updates. You can also download updates one by one or remove products from being monitored. Upgrading to a Vera Software Updater Pro gets you automated installations of updates. Well worth a look. A Vera Antivirus gets good ratings from the independent labs, though not as good as the best commercial products. It does well in my hands on malware blocking and malicious URL blocking tests. The fact that its browser safety component works only in Chrome and Firefox is no problem if one of those is your default browser. The fact that it can keep you safe for free means it's worth a try.